All right, so let's go ahead and actually take a look at this um, acceleration lead-in. So we rolled a battery off the table, and um, we concluded that its velocity as a function of time should look like this. And so we've got a little homework based on this lab. So the motion of this object in the first part is it moves forward at constant velocity, or steady velocity, at 10 meters per second. The initial velocity, of course, is zero. There's no acceleration. And the displacement from zero to five seconds is the area, which is going to be 10 times five, which is 50 meters. And um, the way we'd get the displacement from the equation is we could say that x is v naught t um, plus x naught. We could take this equal to zero and just say that x is v naught times t, which is 10 times 5, which is 50 meters. Or if you prefer, we could use the dirt formula, right? d equals rt. Either one will work. Now for the second part here, it says describe the motion of the object here. The object starts at rest. So the object starts at rest and moves forward, gaining speed. And we could be really clear on this. We could actually get the rate of gaining speed. So gaining speed at a rate of, and we could actually get a slope here, right? Um, and uh, we'll talk about that in a little bit. What? So we'll see. So this is the correct part of the answer. The object starts at rest and moves forward. Now the object's initial velocity is zero meters per second. The slope of this graph so the rate at which our speed increases, the word we're looking for, acceleration. And we're actually going to calculate it. So that's going to end up being um, 20 minus 0 over 5 minus 0, which is 4. And the units are meters per second squared. And the object's displacement, we still use the area. It's a triangle, so that's going to be 1 half base times height, which is going to one, be 1 half times 20 times 5, which ends up being 20 meters. Uh, now the interesting thing is, getting the displacement with an equation, we're going to do that next time in class. Um, it turns out that there is an equation for this line, and I'll give you a little preview now. We're going to see that the equation for this line is V is the slope times the time. Um, and sometimes we'll have an initial velocity, so we'll add that in there like this. That's what we're going to really discuss in the next class.